He's floating. Come on. Look at that camo one. Yeah, I see. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Before I was doing stuff like that, I was doing stuff like this. My name's Joey Antonelli and you're watching my channel. I've grown up in the same area my whole life fishing the same waters with a family full of fishermen. Now I'm on the water more than ever. Thanks for tuning in to another episode and if you like what you see, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Now, let's get back at the action. <laughs> He's floating. Come on. Be gray. Be brown. Not gray. I meant be a gag. Green. Be a gray. No color? No. Drop the truck on him. Nope, there he is. Oh, you got a red snapper. Is it red? Yep. Alright. Yeah, All right, I'm reeling fast again. The mutton floater. Big mutton, dude. Oh yeah, Miami mutton. All right. Get that thing yeah, in that's, here. That's a good one. Got him. I'm gonna take the gas out of that. Yep. Good catch, bud. Woo! Miami mutton, baby. See the colors. Oh, that? that thing is nice. so pretty. Look at the size of that mutton. Adding that mutton to the box. Oh, we were running, sitting up here in the tower. We got dolphin everywhere. You already ate Evan. Oh, oh, they're going for Evan. Eight, Evan, eight. I'm not on. Yeah, you are. Oh, that's Nick's front line. Sorry, I was looking at the wrong one. Are these keepers? Yeah, 20 inches. All these little schoolies. Right. Tons of little dolphin. Look how cool that is. So lit up. Did you see that jump? Yeah. Where's that big wahoo? Nick's throwing some chummies, keeping them fired up. Oh my god. Throw those chummies like right next to the boat. Look up down right here. Every once in a while, just keep the chum coming. Just got a handful of chummies. Oh, they're getting mowed down. Oh, Evan's on. Watch out, bro. That is so cool. They're all the same size. There's no good one. Let's see if it looks any different oh, through the glasses. Are we just putting them right in? Yeah, you can. Oh, Brad's on again. Little dolphins, little dolphins. You got one that rigged up? Yep, uh, white line. Oh, Nikki's gonna get him now. That's why we like to have those little chummies. Brad's is pretty decent. Yeah, yeah. You might want to net Brad's. Oh, Brad says no way he flips them. All right, Nick's got the chummies going out the back. I don't see it. Oh, there they are. Coming up from the deep. Oh my God, that's so cool. They are oh, man, all the over this. All right, Nick is on a dolphin. Three, two, one. Oh, little one. Look at that camo one. You yeah, I see. Mine. He's trying to hit the, the bait that's on your that line. That's so awesome. Oh, Whoa. they're eating the bait on your line. They're going to bite me off. Nope. All right, the bait's off your line. Hey, well, let's see what these things look like through RCI vision. Look at that. All right, should I jump in here and like film some swimming around? I got that 360 camera. Could be, could be cool. I got you, Brad. Throw a couple more. That one's not a bad one. There you go. Keep those chummies going. And they're all over the chummies. Oh, smoked them. Yeah. Camo on your right. All right. Got a pile out there. Oh, man. 
Oh. That's okay. Drop it, Evan. Drop it. Oh, you got a little one on. I got them all. All right, inline camera going out. There we go. Got some dolphins in there. Not big ones, but they're good. We got ice on the bottom, ice on the top. That'll be good stuff. So we're back home now. We got the fish behind us, but this is the new boat. This is Nick's new boat. You've seen the Parker. The Parker's gone. It's got a new home. This is the 28 Sportsman. We're gonna give you a quick little walk around that in a second, but first we gotta get these fish back on ice. We just took them out. There's that big old mutton. I weighed him, and uh, he was actually 13 pounds. I thought he was a lot bigger, but that is a stud of a mutton. A few little dolphins. We let a lot go, but we haven't got dolphin in a while. We got a lot of friends and family that we're going to be giving those to. And then some cobias. Caught some cobias, shot some cobias. That's the one that got rocked with the 357 round to the dome. Didn't want to risk the shark action today. And then... We got mangroves, we got bonitas for deep drop bait. We got a bucket full of triggers and vermilions. But we gotta get everything back on ice until we can keep filleting. Oh, we got one more, Brad's already started. Never even showed you this. Got another mutton. Got them cleaning the boat right now. We're gonna go to Nick Furrow. You guys watch the channel, you know Nick of Palm Bay Boat and Motor Superstore. The boom booms. Nick, what can you tell me about this boat? What do we got here? I'm not doing this. Come on, <laughs> what kind of boat is this? Come on, Joey. All right, this is the Sportsman, 28 yeah, Sportsman. We got twin 300 Yamahas on it. 28 TE. 28 TE. Nick says, if you want this boat, go see Nick. But we're gonna do a quick little walk here. It's got the windlass up front. We hate the windlass. We bring our own anchor. Fortress anchor, super awesome anchor. That hatch is just access to the anchor line. Uh, this is pretty cool. It can be used as a kill box. It's huge. Uh, today we didn't need it as a kill box. It's just storage on most days But if you were going on a trip like maybe going to the Bahamas for a couple days you wanted to load up on ice and drinks and Go look for some tuna or whatever you got that now over here on the floor These two hatches right here, which are still pretty dirty because we haven't cleaned them yet are Kill boxes and all those fish you saw fit in one of these hatches. So we had the two hatches we iced them down, one hatch had bait, one hatch, hatch had fish, and they worked pretty well. We got, what is this, Nick, like a 30 gallon live well, or 40? Yeah, no, 30 and 30. Two 30 gallon live wells, we had this one topped off with those little chummies that the dolphin were eating. 
And this one was uh, thread fins today. It's got two 12 inches. Yeah, 12 inch garments. Two 12 inch garments there. And then he that has like the half station. So you got the sunroof. You open up the sunroof, it's a full second station as far as like steering goes, but it's like only really a half because you stand here. Or no, you don't stand here. You sit there, your feet go there. Uh, but that was really cool. I was up there. It'd be a really fun boat for uh, looking for a cobia on the manta rays and stuff like that. I don't know why these are all on. And the leather back. But it's a sick boat. We'll do a little bit more in depth and trying it out. Uh, he's got the side door. What do you got, you know, got the little tuna hours. door in the back. Huh? Got the bracket or the got platform the in the back. Hard. But we like it. Let's go fillet up that dolphin. We are going to cut up this little dolphin. And I'm sure I'm going to get hated on for keeping a little dolphin. That's all I really need. So, gave a bunch away to friends. Making a cut up there. Go all the way up towards the head. And then let that knife just kind of glide down the back. Look at that. That is a good little piece of dolphin there. Lightning, it's raining around me right now. Good thing I'm only filleting one dolphin here. Save one to fillet for you guys. And that is all that is left of that little dolphin. We'll go ahead, skin this, and I think we're just gonna do some nuggets along with some shrimp. We'll catch up with you in the kitchen. There's our dolphin, and we got shrimp going with it. And you can tell what we're gonna do. We got an egg wash, we got some breadcrumbs, and added a couple different spices to them. And we're gonna fry these up. They should be super, super good. I think we're actually gonna do the shrimp first. Two piles. We got some little shrimps. Oh my gosh, these are gonna be good. Shrimpies. Just got the first batch of fish in there and one giant shrimp and Shrimp is so good. Well, we got dolphin coming up in a minute. We have a beautiful plate of fried goodness with the mahi. Now mahi is on the menu at pretty much any restaurant that serves seafood in Florida at least. And it's really not even my top 10, but it's a very plentiful fish, very fast growing. Um, I would say it's one of the more sustainable fisheries from the information I've read on the internet. But super good. That was one little dolphin. I don't know how many we ended up having, I don't remember. But we're gonna be doing a fun little fish fry tonight. Thanks a lot for watching the video, guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and check out my gear, jantogear.com. We'll leave you with a cobia with a headache.